In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a custom order set in Epic. This includes both for admission order sets as well as personal order sets when you are ordering certain panels or things like that. So this video was requested by one of the viewers on the how to admit a patient in Epic video. And so here we have this internal medicine acute care admission uh, order set here. And we can actually go to this original area here and open up the order set. What you're gonna notice once you load up this order set is there's gonna be this manage user versions at the top right corner. and you can create a new version based on the original. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. So it's going to open this new page for you. And now everything that you choose or select in this new page is going to be part of your default order set. So you can put here my custom order set here. And so these are gonna be things that you feel like you are selecting very frequently. So let's say, usually I'm gonna be doing this when the patient is going to admit to inpatient. And we can click here and just kind of fill out a little bit more details. So when I admit, I'm usually admitting to the medicine wards team. So let's say medicine wards one, and they are generally going to be a med surge level of care, and it's not gonna be a short stay. So this is gonna be my default um, kind of order set here. Okay, so we're gonna hit proceed. And then everything here, we don't really need. I'm not gonna order cardiac monitoring uh, by default, but we are gonna do asymptomatic screening for COVID. So I'll just click that really quickly. I'm going to go to condition, and then we are going to put uh, patient condition as fair. So let's see where that, that is right here. So patient condition is gonna be fair. That's gonna be the most common one that I put. And then code status, we can keep that at, at full code. And then suspected infection, we're not really gonna have anything by default here. Prognosis, um, would I be surprised if the patient died in the next six months? Let's say that generally I, I would say that I put, I would be surprised. And vital signs, the most common one I'm gonna be doing is gonna be every four hours. So let's just do that right here. And then wait, we can get once on admission and then once per day and then eyes and O's every shift. Communications are gonna be here. I usually like to select may transport without telemetry and we can keep the other ones uh, as they are right now. Um, precautions, so uh, most commonly, uh, we'll just put no risk precautions, and then we can put that here, and then uh, we'll continue on down. Regular diet, uh, we can put that by default, although usually I like to just keep this unselected because you know I never know what diet I'm gonna order for the patient, so I don't want it to like default order something that I didn't mean it to. Respiratory, we could do pulse ox with vitals and then oxygen therapy, keep oxygen sats greater than uh, 92% and you can you know order on nasal cannula here if you want. So line care, we got that. Fluids, we're just gonna leave that off. Pain management orders, so let's say we always wanna have patients be started on a PRN Tylenol, so let's just do a Tylenol. And oops, that's the suppository here. We'll do this 650 milligrams every four hours if needed for pain. And then for uh, bowel care, let's do Miralax and a PRN bicycotal, that's fine. Uh, insomnia, we can do melatonin, but we can do three milligrams uh, daily at bedtime rather than bedtime PRN. So proceed with that. Antiemetics and antipyritics, we'll keep that as they are. And other, we don't really need any of that. Tobacco cessation, I'm not gonna really, really touch that. Uh, DVT prophylaxis, usually I leave this blank as well, but if you really find that you're always ordering, you know, Lovenox, you could just put Lovenox here, for example, um, if you just wanted that to be your default. Uh, but for me, I'm just gonna leave this blank for now. And then labs, so let's go to routine labs. So let's do a CBC, which we're always gonna, or always gonna order. And uh, let's take out the three occurrences. So that way we're just gonna get one every morning. We'll do a basic metabolic panel. And again, we're gonna take out those three occurrences. So it just continues indefinitely. We can do a magnesium and we can do that every morning. Let's get one hepatic function panel on admission. So we can just do routine once. And I think that looks pretty good. Uh, general imaging, uh, nothing. This is usually going to be done by the ED already. Uh, but most of the time I do have a physical therapy evaluation. So we can just do, 
you know, assess mobility needs within 48 hours or something like that. So this is basically an example of what you can do to customize your order set for very frequently ordered things in terms of your admission. So you can save this now. All right, so now when I go to the order sets here, I'm gonna open this back up and you should see that the new My Custom Order Set is available here. So we can open this order set really quickly. And so this is just a really quick way to make your own custom order set. It really saves you a lot of time when you find yourself clicking the same things over and over and over again. So you can see already that the patient condition was updated. Yes, I would be surprised if the patient it, it dies in the next six months. Vitals already updated. Made transport without telemetry is there. Diet we left blank because we weren't sure, but we got the pulse socks, ox oxygen therapy. Um, we probably have the Tylenol already ordered. Let's double check that. Yep, Tylenol is already ordered. So it just saves so much time and it's just a really simple way to set up your admission order set. And if we go down to the labs, you can see that all of the labs are ordered the way that we like it as well. So very, very easy to get this set up. All right, and now I'm just gonna show you how to make a custom order set. So as you can see, I have one that's called like my iron panel, so Conan's iron panel. So you can you know just see this and you can see that it pulls up all of these commonly ordered labs. I also had one for COVID where we had to order a bunch of things for COVID. So Conan's COVID labs. Um, and so this ordered like a whole bunch of things because this is when COVID was really hitting hard and we were kind of throwing everything. This was really early on in COVID. And so, um, you know, if you have a ton of things that you need to order all the time, it's really nice to have these order sets where, you know, we want D-dimer Monday, Wednesday, Friday, INR Monday, Wednesday, Friday, hepatic function panel, like all these different things and like ferritin, all this stuff. So let me just show you how to get this set up. So let's say you wanted to make like an iron and nutrition panel. So basically you just put in all the different um, things that you think you're going to need. So let's say iron, transferrin, we'll do ferritin, let's do vitamin B12. Uh, and you can just make this kind of your like, you know, nutrition panel or something, folate, and you can do vitamin D, there it is. All right, so we put accept on all of that. And if you actually go to the options up here, you'll see that there is this uh, gold star and you can do create panel. So just click on that really quickly and you can see what you want here. Um, you can do display name and so uh, Conan's nutrition panel or something like that and just hit accept and uh, you can just hit yes and very very easy now because anytime you want you can just type nutrition and you can see Conan's, Conan's nutrition panel is right there so very easy to get that set up uh, another one that you want you may want is like a sepsis panel or like a fever let's see I had like a fever panel Conan's fever workup and so this one's really nice uh, if you're frequently ordering uh, like two blood cultures and everything. So, you know, this one's cool because I, I have some things that are not checked off by default. So for example, you can get a lactic acid, a chest X-ray, two blood cultures, and then you can get the urinalysis. You, you know, if you want to, you can get a procal or a respiratory culture. These are all things that you may think about ordering uh, in case a patient comes in with a fever. So um, just a couple of cool things you can do with Epic with these custom order panels. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. Please let me know down in the comments if you have any further questions. I hope to see you in the next video and thanks again for watching. Peace.